Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, I wanna share with you how you can get ready for a pen tester role in 10 months or less. Now, I do wanna be clear. I don't wanna be your typical influencer that makes a guarantee. So I cannot guarantee if you follow this path, you'll be able to land a junior pen tester role. But here's what I can tell you. I am a pen tester. I've been a pen tester now for a year and a half. I am a mid-level pen tester, started as a junior pen tester. And I do one-on-one -on -one coaching with people all of the time who ask this question. Hey, Tyler, how can I become a pen tester? What is a roadmap you would recommend for me? And without fail, this is the roadmap I recommend. And I truly do believe if you follow this roadmap, you will see success, not only in your own learning, but your resume is going to look awesome. You're going to at least get to the interview stage for pen testing roles. And you very well might land your first pen testing job in 10 months or less by following this roadmap. So what is a roadmap? Well, let me go through it real quickly, and then I'll share with you some more details. So number one, the first thing that you should do is go through the practical ethical hacker course by TCM security. This will take you about two months. Now, if you have not gone through the PEH course through TCM security, you are missing out. I know from my own journey, every time I try to learn ethical hacking, I was always confused. I was jumping from platform to platform. There was nothing that was very clear. I was going from Udemy course to Udemy course trying to figure out what should I learn? What should I follow? I finally discovered Heath and TCM security on Reddit out of all places and people recommending that course. I went through that course. I took notes on on every single module, every single lecture, every single lab that we were going through. Matter of fact, if you watch my early streams and you see me working through my OneNote, that entire OneNote is based on that course. And that course is the one thing that began tying the pieces together for me and it began making sense. So I would recommend that first. That will take you about two months of time to go through the course and to take good notes. Once you have completed that, I would recommend signing up for Hack the Box Academy and working your way through the Pen Tester Pathway and Hack the Box Academy. That Pen Tester Pathway is by far one of the best pathways I have seen that actually shows you what it's like to be a pen tester in the real world. They talk about everything from writing a proper report, doing AD, doing web apps, doing some more complicated web app attacks, but not going too deep on that, doing network attacks, doing external pen tests. And it culminates in one where you put all the pieces together, you do an external pen test and you work your way through the full methodology. And I can tell you as a pen tester, the pathway laid out in the pen tester path on Hack the Box Academy is actually what I do. Like it's super accurate to what you do in a day-to-day -day life as a pen tester. That is going to take you roughly four months to make your way through that. Once you do that, I would encourage you to sign up for 90 days of lab access for the OSCP. Now, the only reason I say that is because unfortunately, because Offsec wants your money, you cannot just buy an OSCP voucher on its own. The best you can do to save the most amount of money is to buy 90 days of lab access. Now, for those of you who know me, you should know I am I am not a fan of Offsec. So this is not an endorsement of Offsec in any way, shape, or form. Heck, I even have a rap song expressing my frustration with Offsec. But here is the grim reality. The OSCP is still the gold standard in making it past HR and getting to the interview process for a pen testing job. So if you're serious about becoming a pen tester, you likely want the OSCP on your resume. Now, I will say that's not true across the board. I got my job as a pen tester before I had the OSCP, but I also recognize that's unique, but I got my job as a pen tester and then I sat for the OSCP afterwards. But once again, it is unique. That's going to take you about three months, of course, 90 days of lab access, take the OSCP and pass it. If you go through the full pen tester pathway and hack the box Academy, the practical ethical hacker course from TCM security, you're going to have no issue passing the OSCP. And then finally, here's what I think is going to set you apart because here's the reality is you're applying for these pen testing roles. There's a bunch of people who have the OSCP, a bunch of people who want to be pen testers. How are you going to stand apart? And the way that you're going to stand apart is get a CVE. Now I made an entire video on how I got eight CVEs in a two week period. You can find that on my YouTube channel. I will even link it in the description of this video and also maybe throw it up here if I can figure out how to do video editing properly, but follow that process. I share in that video, my exact process for finding CVEs and open source projects. And if you have the OSCP and you have one, two or more CVEs on your resume, you are going to at least get to the interview process. Your resume is going to stand out above other potential pen testers and get to the interview. And from there, well, I can't help you with your interview, but here's what I can do. At Hack Smarter, the our whole Discord community, we offer donate what you can coaching. Here's what it means. You donate to a nonprofit of your choice and you can meet with one of our coaches for a one-on-one -on -one mentoring system uh, process. And we can do a mock interview 
interview. We can go over your resume in that. And hey, if you can only afford $1, give $1 to a nonprofit of your choice. We don't even ask you what money you gave to. We just ask, say, who did you give to? And we'll do that session with you. So hey, this, I really do believe if you follow this pathway and get involved in the community, you will be pen tester ready in 10 months or less, and you very well might land your first pen testing role. And hey, I would be curious to hear your thoughts. If you disagree with something I shared or you have a recommendation for a different pathway, let me know in the comments of the video. Would love to hear from you and honestly, would love to learn from you myself. But hey guys, hope you found this video helpful. If you're not part of the Hex Murder community, let's start there. Link is in the description of this video. Would love to see you there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.